And what did you think of the UN reaction? I mean, were you surprised by the sort of... Well, the UN, well, first of all, the UN reaction was spectacular. I mean, there were 1,600 people in the movie theater, and the applause rocked the house. The screen was 45 feet across, and the president of the General Assembly was there, and there was a lot of great actors there. I mean, um, friends of mine who were in town, or whatever. The response in the theater was spectacular, and the idea that... Uh, the AGC, the American Jewish Committee, said that they shouldn't show the movie there without seeing the movie. Ex answer, that answers its own thing. Why not show something? Because they heard that it was anti-Israeli, and it's not anti-Israeli at all. It's pro-Israeli. It is saying, "Hey, we love this. I love this country. Let's let's fix it. Let's understand that there are people living here." that have to be considered, that have inalienable rights, just like Jewish people. And uh, I think that if you, you, you're not going to find a Jewish person in the United States, I mean, maybe, I mean, that's going to say what, black people don't deserve to be treated, to have to be able to vote or to uh, be able to have the same rights as we do. They, they've gotten over that in this country. I think that they got to get over it over there. Two things. One, how do you see the current, you know, climate in the Middle East, we're having, you know, uprisings in Egypt and Bahrain and Yemen. How will that affect the conflict we're seeing, you know, between the Palestinians and the Israelis? I mean, well, I think that, first of all, I think it's great what's happening over there. And, I mean, when Obama made that speech in Cairo, he, 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 he wanted to share democracy with all these people. They took him at his word. Now it's time for us to support that kind of democracy. Uh, and and make it real. And I think that that same democracy has to filter over to Israel and for, with the Palestinians. And I think that you want all those Arabs that are around there to actually be more friendly to and, and feel like... I think, I think that the young people don't want to follow, have the same tics and inherit the same problems uh, and the situation. They want to change. Everybody wants to change. So I think that... I think I think it's all good. Do you think there'll be a lot of bloodletting? Do you think there can be peaceful transitions in the area? Or? Well, they certainly. I think it was. I think it worked out pretty well in Tunisia. I mean, I'm here. I'm not there, so I'm not on the ground there. Uh, I think Egypt. what's gone in Egypt is is amazing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you could see the difference between what happened in Egypt and what's going on in Libya. Right. But uh, I think it's a very good time for uh, the. I think it's a very important time for the Israeli government to start to try to, uh, uh, not to try, they, they need to, what did, I don't know who said it, if it was Rabin who said there's no way to peace, there's just peace, or was it Gandhi that's, that said that? That's a good quote, isn't it? Well, congratulations. Thank you and so much. And good luck at the screening, you know.